Hey, what's up you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs, and today I have episode 17 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday, where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or another domaining editing program, and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now today's episode is coming from a lot of you subscribers who have been asking me how to make the effect that you guys had seen on the customized mouse pad speed art that I had done for a uh, contest, which is shown right here. And basically you guys just want to know how to make kind of the text looks like it's all chopped up and everything. So uh, it's actually a really easy effect and a lot of you users will be able to get the hang of it really quick. So let's hop right on into Photoshop and let's get started. So right here in Photoshop, as you guys see, I just have a kind of plain uh, gray canvas and what we want to do is we just want to lay down the text that we're going to be messing around with so I'm going to do designs now you guys are going to want to use kind of a nice text uh, to be doing this I'm using typography pro extra bold uh, so if you guys want to text you guys can obviously use that one um, or just really any uh, blocky text Molot, uh, Janolane, uh, all those are really good ones but I'm using typography pro so I'm just going to lay down and I'm going to be doing design so that's D-E-S-I-G-N-S for this tutorial, you guys are going to have to make it uh, all separate files. So to do this, all you guys have to do is just kind of just type in D for your first letter and let's get started. So right off the bat, we are going to want to come over here to our Layers tab and right click on the D and say Rasterize Type. And that's basically just going to make the D editable so we can kind of cut out what we don't want out of it. So what we want to do now is scroll on over here to our Pen tool right above the Type tool and we just want to cut out whatever part we want so I'm gonna start off from here and I'm just gonna kind of click on over here now what I would recommend is try having to hold down shift uh, every time you cut so it's gonna be a perfect 45 degree angle if you guys don't want to though you guys can obviously uh, just kind of click wherever you want and make that dash so I'm gonna start right about here on the D and I'm gonna kind of cut down right here that's a little much maybe right there yeah okay and basically we're just going to hover around to make sure that you guys don't go throughout the uh, the D. You guys are going to want to go all the way around after you make that initial slash. Now you guys are going to want to right click, say make selection, say OK. And then basically all you have to do is press delete. And it's that easy. So now we have that into the D. Now we want to make an E. And we want to line the tops of those letters up just like that. Kind of scroll on over here. And what I like to do is I kind of like to keep a uh, almost like a triangle basis. So right here I cut uh, on the uh, right side vertically. Now I want to kind of cut on the left side of this. You guys don't have to do that. That's just my preference that I like to do. Um, but we want to right click on the E, say rasterize type. Take you guys' pen tool. I'm going to start right about here. And I'm going to cut upwards to maybe right about there. And again, we can just scroll on outside of the E say right click make selection OK and then delete once again so now we have kind of this uh, almost like broken type of letters and also another really cool effect that you guys can do with this is actually don't delete the whole file and what I mean by that is uh, you guys can almost do something like this where we'll type in the S of designs and we'll match the top of it just like that I'm gonna scroll this on over a little bit more and then what we want to do is of course right click on the S say rasterize type and then take our pen tool and kind of zoom in on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top of this S, say right click, make selection. And what we can actually do is take your selection tool and kind of move it almost over, just like so. And move it a little down so it looks like it's broken. Press Control D to deselect that. And then I'm going to take right to over here. I'm going to kind of make a weird angle slash. Scroll on the outside of it, say right click, make selection and go to my selection tool and then I'm gonna kinda move this one over here and what that will do is it kinda of almost just gives that broken up effect so this is really nice to incorporate if you guys are doing um, something that you guys would like to incorporate uh, a lot of effects in you guys can obviously move this and just kinda of move it around I'm also gonna make one kind of almost barely even a cut and we're going to move this S over a little bit so we're gonna say make selection and I'm gonna select this part. I'm almost gonna just like move it up just a little bit. So it just looks like it's broken now. So that part is broken and we can continue on with our I. And we'll just type in I. Make sure the top of those are matching. Just like so. Scroll on over. And then on this one, we want to just kind of make a slash from here. Goes down to there. Say so right click, make selection. And 
remember to go over to the I, right click, rasterize type, delete. Control D, and now we just have our D, E, S, I. Now we want to start off with our G. Get those tops matched up. And then this one's going to look really cool, uh, kind of all broken up, so we're just going to do the broken up effect on this one. So we're going to say make selection, OK. Right click on your G, rasterize type, and then scroll this on up a little bit over here. Control D to deselect. We're going to take this. Can I make it a weird slash again? Say make selection, OK. Selection tool at the top, and let's move it up. All right. And then I'm also going to make one more slash right here. And I think that the more slashes that you guys do do is that it's going to look kind of uh, a little bit more creative and a little bit more broken up. So just however many ones uh, that you guys want to do is really up to you. So I have the D-E-S-I-G now. And now we're going to move on to the N. Now, ends look really cool uh, with a broken up effect. On this one, though, I'm not going to do a broken up effect uh, just because we've been doing the broken up effect kind of a lot throughout this one. So right here, I had made that on the right side of it. So now we have to make one on the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break this one up, actually. Yeah, but I'm not going to break it up a ton. I'm just going to say make selection right about there. Right click, rasterize type, selection tool, and I'm just going to move this up just a tad bit. Just like so, say control D. And then we have one last letter, which is the S. Gonna match up the tops of those with this one. All right, and we're going to kind of cut right from here to about there. Yeah, that looks good, about good. And say make selection, okay. Click on your S, rasterize type, and delete. All right, guys, so if we just zoom out now, we have our designs. Now, what you guys can do is take this off, say, um, uh, hold down shift. And actually, what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to place your letters a little bit more um, kind of close together, but not too close. As you guys see right here, the G is almost touching the I. So we're going to take that G and kind of just move it over a little bit right about there. All right, so I don't think any of the other letters are really kind of sitting close, too close to each other. So now what we can do is click on the letters, uh, hold down shift, select them all, and just press control G. That's just going to group them all together in one. I'm going to say call this designs. And what we can do now is hold down control, click on our background, center it up. And then what we can do is add effects to each individualized letter. We can right click on the D, go to blending options, say inner shadow, and we can kind of inner shadow them into there. Um, whatever you guys really want to do. So that's just how you guys do the shattered effect. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Uh, if you guys do have any questions or concerns, definitely drop them in the comment sections below. I'll definitely take a look over them and respond to you guys as soon as possible. Well, guys, I hope you guys did like this tutorial. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up if it did help you out again. And uh, yeah, guys, until next time, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I'll make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. Thanks, guys. My thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. That shit, just let me go Oh, words and taste makers Make us no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man